and welcome back to License Check for June of 2013. I know we're a little later than usual this month, but we had some scheduling change-ups. So let's talk about all the anime licensed outside of Japan in June of 2015. Starting with The World is Still Beautiful, which you may know as a fantasy series uh, that came out back in 2014. It has been licensed by Sentai Filmworks. So that's cool. We're, we're seeing some of that. A, um, a, a recent fantasy series, again, licensed by Sentai Filmworks, which should be coming out fairly, uh, uh, fairly soon. Also licensed in June by Anime Limited in the, in the United Kingdom, a couple of UK licenses this month. First was Aoharu X Kikanju, which is a um, also uh, known as Aohara X Machine Gun. Uh, I'm actually not familiar with this one. It's uh, tagged action comedy shonen over on good old my anime list, but it is um, described as I don't know. Um, the, the synopsis isn't very helpful, but uh, it looks like a, a slick little show came out this year 2015 so again that will be coming out uh in the uk at some point from what was that that was from anime, anime limited uh, animatsu or animatsu in the uk uh has licensed future diary the anime series that's the one about um uh kids with cell phones where the cell phones um um let them predict the future uh or the uh yes they, they, they can all predict the future and um each diary has some special features and they're put into a um a sort of a battle royale kind of experience um i'm kind of a fan of that one i i liked the manga i haven't watched too much of the anime series which came out back in 2011 through 2012 so that'll be coming over to the uk hopefully fairly soon uh, moving on to um, Madman Entertainment over in Australia. They've licensed uh, a handful of things. Let's get through those. A Dramatical Murder, which was uh, it's an anime series uh, from 2014, uh, which is a sci-fi shonen series. So that should hopefully come out soon over in Australia. Also, Hamatora the Animation, which is a, a series from last year. This is uh, one I'm not familiar with. A lot of these are ones I, I haven't checked out yet. Also licensed Hanayamata, which is described as a school slice of life series. Oka uh, Okami Shoujo Tokuru, uh, sorry. Okami Shoujo Tokuro Oji, Wolf Girl and Black Prince. That's a little easier to, to describe. Looks like a shoujo series about a 16 year old girl who claims to have all sorts of boyfriends, but actually has none. And um, uh, then uh, gets involved with a, a guy who's a uh, bit of a problem. So uh, that's Wolf Girl and Black Prince. Also licensed as Serei Tsukai no Blade Dance, Blade Dance of the Elementalers. This is a series from last year. And uh, it's a sort of a shonen action, haremish kind of a series. Um, with some etchy elements. So those all coming to Australia this year and uh, all from Madman Entertainment. And believe it or not, that's all that was licensed in uh, outside of Japan or at least in um, um, you know North America, UK and Australia in June. Part of that is because of Anime Expo and Otakon tend to get a lot of licenses around that point. So expect a lot more licensing stuff for july but that's the stuff for june so that's it for this uh month on license check and see you next month